There's a song yesterday that I was going to do, um, but we just kind of ran out of time. And I hope I can do it. It's, a, it's an old hymn. I'm not even sure when it was written. Um, it's public domain, so it doesn't have the, the date on it. But it's just a sweet song. And uh, I love the words to this song. So I just thought I would uh, this morning open with this song and prayer meditation and encouragement. Be still my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Still 
my soul begin the song of praise honor thee giving to thy Lord on high acknowledge him in all thy words and So shall he view he with the wealthy child. Be still, my soul, the Son of Life divine. Through passing clouds shall burn. I just love the words to that hymn. Uh, the hymn writer, just as a psalmist does many times, speaks to his soul and tells his soul just to be still and to be quiet before the Lord. Uh, Psalm 119, beginning in verse 97 uh, this morning, relates to that a lot. The psalmist says, Oh, how I love your law. And I, I think he was able to express that because it was in the law, the word of God, was where he found his comfort and he found his peace. When all other voices were speaking to him, all other voices coming into his ear, all other voices coming to his mind, and even yet his own voice uh, speaking to his mind. Do you have that every now and then, that your own voice speaks to you? Um, Typically for me, my own voice a lot of times wants to um, speak those things that are negative, speak those things that are um, that 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 uh, that that rob my faith, that rob my joy. And here the psalmist says, "Oh Lord, how I love your law." Uh, his word speaks to us; it speaks to our heart and it comforts us. He said, "It is my meditation all the day, all day long." Your word is my meditation. A little practice that I've learned is that there are certain memory verses that, that I have hidden in my heart that when other voices try to speak to me or I'm listening to other voices or even my own voice wants to speak to me that I, I bring to mind or recall to mind, the Holy Spirit brings those verses to my mind and I meditate on those and the truth of those um, of his word it's uh, it, um, it is amazing to me how God's word, when we take it by faith and we chew on it, we meditate it, and we uh, f and we recognize that it's His truth. It overshadows all of those other so-called truths that want to speak into our heart and our mind. And so here the psalmist says, "God, I love Your law." And on your law, on your word, I meditate all the day. Are you anxious this morning? Are you stressed out today? Are you concerned with the affairs of others that you have no control over? Uh, meditate on God's word. Take a verse and just chew on it. Chew on this verse. God, I love your law. I love your word. And on it, I meditate all day long. Your commandment makes me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. As I read this verse this morning, I thought of my dad. I mention my dad a lot of times. My dad was a very simple, godly man, and uh, he was not very well educated. Uh, high school education, had some Navy uh, education, but my dad was one of the wisest men I know. And the reason my dad was one of the widest, wisest men that I knew was because he, he meditated on the truths and the Word of God. And it made him wiser than all. It, if, you, if you're able to compare two individuals, one who has, who has vested their life in worldly thinking, who has, has never submitted to the Word of God, who's never... Um, who's always using human reasoning or worldly counsel 
and you compare that to an individual who has lived a long life, but yet they've, they've spent their life having their life governed and submitted to the Word of God, there is a marked difference between the outcome in those, in those individuals' lives and the peace and the contentment that they have at that age in life. You see, the Word of God, we don't have to have high degrees of education, but the Word of God, as it works in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, will make us wiser than any wisdom that the world might try to give. I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. I have met a lot of young people who are far wiser than old people that I know because they have, uh, they've kept their word and they've kept the word of God and their understanding is even greater than the aged. Uh, verse 101, I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. Uh, he allows God's word to control and govern his life. Uh, he keeps his feet from going into areas or into places or into things that, that he knows are not uh, in line with God's word. I hold my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. I do not turn aside from your rules, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. God's word is sweet, isn't it? Sweeter than honey, he says. And through your precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. My encouragement to you today is just to take a morsel of God's word. Chew on it and meditate on it. Maybe just take one little verse today and, and, and write it down if necessary. Write it on a three by five card. And over and over through the day, just read that verse and contemplate on it. Dwell on that verse. Chew on it. Ask the Holy Spirit to make it go deep down into your heart and your soul. And I promise, based on the faithfulness of God and His Word and the Holy Spirit, that uh, it, it will be richer than anything you can do all the day long. I pray that you have a good day today. I pray that the Lord just meets you where you are. I pray that uh, we all have an opportunity, and you ask the Lord this today as well. God, whatever, wherever my, my path takes me today, God, give me an opportunity um, to share with others your faithfulness, your goodness, your love. And God, that I might be able to plant a seed in somebody's heart and mind uh, to the gospel. Um, that God would give us opportunity to cultivate maybe a seed that's been planted in someone's heart already. Um, or by God's grace, we would be able to share in uh, reaping the harvest of seeing someone come to know Christ today. I pray the Lord's blessings on you. I pray that he'd keep you. Uh, have a great day. I love you. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning.